Hello? Hello. I'll be with you in just a sec. Well, look what the cat dragged in. It's nice to see you, mine. Hey, you look well. Well, you too. I see you're keeping yourself busy. You've got more rentals and for sales on the go. Trust me, tenancy is the way to go at the moment. It's been non-stop the past few months. Apparently, everyone wants to be a landlord or landlady. And everyone needs an agent to handle their business. For a little commission, of course. Of course. So, enough about me and my overwhelming success. I make us a cup of coffee. Uh, uh, leave your coaches there. Um, you two want one? The fee's done. Okay. How have you been? I thought you two would have been together forever. What happened? Well, nothing really. We just kind of drifted apart. Well, the actual breakup had been on the cards for a very long time. It was really nobody's fault. Well, we keep on friendly terms and we talk from time to time. Anyway, it's been for months now, so I can officially announce myself young, free and single. Free and single, at least. <laughs> Come on, two out of three ain't bad, is it? But I am also homeless. Oh, how come? I found a place and I was supposed to move in tomorrow, but there were delays with the keys handover and the contract, so I can move in earliest in two, three weeks, which brings me to why I'm here. I wanted to ask you whether you have a property I can rent for like two, three weeks tops. So you're not just here to see me. You just want me for my properties. You got me. <laughs> I heard that you didn't come to me first. Very short term could be hard though. Most of my clients insist on six months minimum. Hey mom, I may have something for you. Come on. You're in luck, I have a place. Do you know where Bridge Lane is? Bridge Lane? No, but I'll find it. <laughs> well, um, it's been on the market for a year and according to the flights it's still vacant property. Oh, I'm intrigued. Vacant for a year in today's market, it's... It's not some kind of Amityville place, is it? You know, the last tenant went crazy and butchered the whole family with an axe before blowing his brains out or something. No, <laughs> nothing like that. Jeez, if that was the case, people would be queuing up to rent or buy it. Don't believe a word when they tell you people are turned off by supposedly haunted houses or places with a macabre past. They love it, seriously, they do. Well, not me. The first sound of a creaking floorboard, then I'm out of there. Oh, I do love a tough breath, man. Well, better a life coward than a dead hero. That's what I always say. <laughs> but anyway, Bridge Lane. Well, yeah. It's a house divided into two parties. So one upstairs flat, one downstairs. It was in a kind of crap state when we took it on. So don't expect a palace. It should have power and running water, though, I think. <laughs> Well, as long as it's got walls and a roof, I'm more than happy. How much? Let's say 500 for those few weeks. That's great. Perfect. So, let me find the key. Holly, have you seen the keys for Bridge Lane? Sorry, Jan, I haven't. Gotcha! There it is. Pace over. Only for one flat, though. Strange. Anyway, it's number 37. It's a downstairs flat. I can't see the owner having any problems with you crashing there for a few weeks. It will pay for the wallpaper. I will forego my commission, and if you pay cash, the tax man you find out either. <laughs> You're an angel. I owe you one for this. I know, and I intend to collect. I'm thinking about dinner. Deal. Perfect. And in local news, a man disappeared on Tuesday night after he met with friends at the Swan Pub. Police are asking for any witnesses to come forward. The man is medium height, dark hair, and wearing a black jacket and jeans. It's a creepy house. Just a creepy, dark house.
okay. I'm sorry she scared you. She's harmless, really. Tell the man you're sorry, Katie. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. It's me that should say I'm sorry. It's just that, you know, I thought this place would empty. Jen, sorry, sorry, I mean, Janet Shawcross at the agency, she said that, well, no one was here, so when I saw her, I kind of got startled. I'm sorry. Okay, that explains the whole deer in the headlights look. You're partly right, though. This place has been empty for a while. Uh, me and these two little monkeys just moved in a couple days ago. Okay. I'm surprised no one from the agency knew anything about it. Yeah, actually, me too. I mean, Jen was pretty sure the place is empty. Well, on the other hand, she said she's pretty busy and finding it hard to keep up with what's vacant and what's not, so... Well, maybe <laughs> she'll forget to charge me rent. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. Okay, well, I won't book the luxury cruise just yet, then. Well, to make up for my daughter scaring you, um, can I make you a drink? Tea or coffee? Um, yeah, yeah, thanks. That, that would really be great. Coffee, please. By the way, I'm Mike. Sandra. This one here <laughs> is Katie. Hello, hello, Katie. And the one lurking behind me is Martin. Hello, Martin. Hello. Okay, then I'd best get unpacked. Um, come up whenever you're ready and we'll go get the coffee started. Okay. Jeez, Jan. Could you have been more wrong about this place? you know the coffee's ready. Uh, yeah, yeah, I I'll be there in a sec. Are you okay? No, no, I'm, I'm fine, but, but you know, it's just that from what Jan told me, I was expecting to find an, well, unfurnished bomb site, but look at this place. I mean, it's basically ready to move into. That's kind of weird. <laughs> well, who knows? I guess one of life's little mysteries. I guess. Well, just come up when you're ready and I'll go pour the coffee. Uh, sure, sure. I'll be right there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, mister. Hi, come on hey. in. Hey! Uh, you can take a seat there. Yeah. Thanks. Already got the essentials out. <laughs> I'll do you a swap though. You unpack all of this and I'll unpack your two suitcases downstairs. Uh, I think I'm fine with the arrangement the way it is, but you know, thanks. I hope you don't mind. I had made the cups of coffee, but then the wine was calling to me. No, of course not. Cheers. Stop! Stop it! You two, knock it off, or I'm gonna pack you up into one of these boxes and send you to live with one of your aunts. And not the nice one either, the one with no teeth and a hairy chin. I'm so sorry. I swear, uh, by the time I finish unpacking and unsettling, I'm, I'm gonna be drinking a lot of this. <laughs> no worries, I understand. So how did you find out about this place? Well, actually I was supposed to move into a place in a couple of days from now, but there were some delays with the bureaucracy, the contract, etc. So I had to find something new. And I went to my friend Jan at the agency. She told me this place is empty, so I ended up here. Okay, so you're only going to be here for a couple of days then? Yeah, yeah, it's not going to be long. But uh, yeah, let's see. How about you? Actually, I, uh, I didn't move from very far away, just the neighborhood over. I didn't feel like uprooting the kids right now from school and stuff, but since it's just the three of us these days, I thought it would be better to downsize a little bit. Oh, what happened? Oh, you mean my husband? Y you know what? I, I don't feel like talking about it, actually. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't want to... No, 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 it's okay, you didn't know. Just... Yeah, sorry. By the way, I forgot to mention, the heat in here has about two settings. There's Arctic and Sahara. I'm thinking about calling the agency tomorrow to have someone come over to look at it. 
Do you love her, Mummy? Uh, <clears throat> Will you be a new dad? Kids, stop it. I'm really sorry, Mike. Tact <sighs> isn't their best virtue. Now, kids, go to bed, okay? And remember to brush your teeth. I'm really sorry about that. I mean, since their dad, well, they've been trying to pair me off. I understand, no worries. <laughs> By the way, do you mind if I open the window? Uh, if only. I've tried. They're locked shut. What? Surely not, right? Open. Also, the same, it wouldn't open. And the bathroom. That's why we couldn't get out in time. What? What? what do you mean? When the fire started, we tried, but the windows were locked. What? What? Couldn't go down the stairs even the fire wouldn't let us. What do you mean? Mommy told us to hide in the wardrobe and that the fireman rescue us soon. But it isn't. It was the boiler. I knew something was wrong with it, but the landlord said it was fine. It was just a bit temperamental, but it wasn't fine. It wasn't fine. It wasn't fine at all! But it's okay now. You're here. You'll save us! You saved us, little I know it. No, Katie. It's too late to be saved. But it's not too late to join us, Mike. The kids, they need a father. Will you be their father? <laughs> Holly, has Mike, the guy who took Bridgeland yesterday, called here at all today? Nope. Not that I know of. Is he not answering? His phone isn't even ringing. If anyone needs me, I'll be back later. I'm going over to Bridgeland. Shawcross Mountain Elegance, how can I help you? Yes, Mr. Ahmed. We do indeed have a client interested in one of your properties. Mike?
Holly, what are you doing here? Something wrong at the office? No, everything's fine. Get in. Cheers. So? You know, when I was a kid, my dad used to tell my siblings and me ghost stories. He used to enjoy scaring the life out of us. And to be fair, we loved it. All kids love ghost tales. Deep down. He also told us about a haunted house. And about how it was haunted by a woman and her two children. Who died in a fire there. And would claim the soul of anybody who entered the house on the anniversary of their deaths. And keep them there for all eternity. It wasn't until many years later that I found out it wasn't just a tale of fantasy. This actually happened here in this house. Number 37, Bridge Lane. And not 200 years ago either. It was 1996. A young mother and her two kids were killed in a fire. That's a horrible way to die. The house stayed an empty derelict for many, many years. Then was bought, fixed up, put back on the market. And eventually, I think around this time last year, someone bought it and brought it to us. I recognised the address immediately. It was me who hid the keys. Not well enough, it seems. You... I'd only hidden the one set. But why? I've always had a feeling about this place. I used to walk past here on my way to school and it would just give me the creeps. You know, I don't think... The ghost side of the tale is altogether untrue. <laughs> yeah, you think the house really is haunted. Who knows? But where's Mike? More to the point, have you seen or heard from the owner? Or the guys he hired to decorate? I bet all the decorating gear is still in there, isn't it? It was when I looked in a few months ago. Nope. I tried to get in touch, but... The phone has always been dead? Yes. But do you think we should call the police? I don't think there's any point. I think whatever happened to Mike and the others is way beyond the police's control. And ours. I need a drink. Just help, help, Just help. 